Okay, good morning, folks. Rob White here at Dahlstrom Roll Form, and I'm here today to start a four-part series on the anatomy of a roll forming line. And we're gonna start today with the uh, first step in the process, which is the coil and the uncoiler. So we have a coil here, preload, ready to be loaded onto the uncoiler. And we're always using a chain hoist with a little gantry system here. The chains are uh, always inspected on a periodic basis. And we have a, a coil that has a specification for this product. Coil specs generally are um, ID, the inner diameter, which matches up with the uncoiler, and then OD, the outer diameter, which normally we would like to have as large as possible because the, the larger the diameter of the coil within the um, confines of the uncoiler's uh, capacity, the better it is for roll forming because it's less coil changes, which means less downtime. Uh, this happens to be a pre-painted textured coil today. Th these coils are specified by a term called PIW. PIW is pounds per inch of width. And so here we are ready to, ready to load up. It looks like we're about down to the end of this coil. You can see that the coil is retained on there by a center spindle that, that collapses. When the coil goes on, it expands and it locks the coil in place. This is a, a powered uncoiler. There are also other types of uncoilers. There are unpowered uncoilers that are driven by the pull of the downstream roll forming process. Normally that would be used for uh, non-pre-punched parts. Uh, when we're pre-punching, as we are in this line, we use a powered uncoiler. Uh, there also are double spindle uncoilers. Coil on one side, coil on the other, run this one out, spin around, and then connect this one a little bit quicker coil change. We have some of those here in our plant. Uh, there are coil cradles, which uh, kind of looks like a, a baby stroller where you put the whole coil in and it's just retained by the side walls and, and, and a roller system underneath. Primarily used for heavy gauge. Uh, the edge, edges can be disturbed on lighter gauge in those cradles. We have a couple of cradles here for heavier things as well. So the way this is controlled is by a loop control system. So what we have here is a laser that is connected to the control system and it knows when the coil strip is on the ground. When the downstream process pulls on that coil and it becomes taut, the laser knows that it, it, it gets closer in proximity and it will feed more material just to make sure that, that uh, there's enough slack in this first step before the pre-punching uh, to make sure that the downstream processes can go uninterrupted. That's the first step in the process. Part one, uncoiler and coil specs. Next will be uh, step two in the process, the straightening and leveling of the strip and the pre-punching. 